What's up everybody, it's Scythe, that's Ann, Tignorant, back again for another Scythe News Vlog thing. This is going to be my first one where I'm actually trying to use the webcam, and I'm going to try and be using it a lot more often in the coming weeks. Now, first and foremost, as always, I just want to say thank you to each and every new subscriber. If any of you check this out, you know, I, I really do appreciate the subscription. You know, I'm glad that you enjoy my content. I hope you'll enjoy it in the years to come. It's actually really awesome that this week has been the best week for subscribers for me because I only hit 500 subscribers last week and now I'm at like, what, 580 or I think it was at 580. 85 last time I checked and that was like last night so it might even be a little bit higher now so that's pretty crazy that I'm almost at 600 subscribers in one week so really and if any new subscribers check this out I try to you know do a weekly thing with this and it's like this is pretty much the only thing that I actually record and upload in the same day because I can't afford to do that with all my series I'm just too busy with stuff all right Cross that off the list. I'm trying to get a bear format for all this stuff, you know? Next, I want to talk about LPs, my Let's Plays. First and foremost, I will talk about today is going to be GTA 5 single player is going to go up, as well as a special video that I worked on. It's, it's a couple weeks old as far as the footage goes. Like, I recorded it before I even streamed this week. I'll get into that. But... It's Grand Theft Auto Online with a couple of my friends and I recorded like an hour's worth of footage and for anyone that checked out my first GTA Online video, it kind of, you know, it was kind of long, it was kind of dragged out, it was kind of like a stream but it was recorded and then uploaded as a full video, you know what I'm saying? And this one I tried the total opposite, I tried to be absolutely brutal just like I was in my Far Cry series which... I wouldn't recommend watching, but as far as the comedy goes was pretty good, but the video quality is just terrible. But anyway, it means cut, 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 and I brought down that hour's worth of footage down to about 15 minutes, so I think that that'll be a little bit more manageable. Think of it kind of like a highlights reel of the hour or something like that, so I figure I may as well upload that now, otherwise I'm never going to find time. Now, next is... For multiplayer, no wait, <laughs> the name changed when we got to our year special. Monday Multiplayer Madness, that's it. That For anyone that doesn't know and anyone that's just checking this out, that is me and Johnny play random multiplayer games every Monday. More often than not, they are suggestions now, which we've got a huge list of suggestions, but, but... The Mario multiplayer mod has just been, it's been skyrocketing. Like, as far as my series goes, at, well, not even series, it is my most popular video. Like, every time I look at it, it's like, I, you know, just yesterday it was at like 7,000 views. Now it's at 8,000, you know? So expect to see that on the Monday Multiplayer Madness episodes for quite a while, everybody. You know, for those that aren't into it, I'm sorry about that. We will get to the suggested, the suggested multiplayer episodes that you've all been requesting and stuff. You know, even recently Fallout King requested black and white, which I think could be hilarious. But, you know, right now, I'm not going to lie, that's where the views are at. That's, you know, everyone seems to really enjoy the way that we play that game. And plus, for us, it's a lot of fun, too, because the way that we approach it, rather than making it a full series where we record everything, it being a Monday episode means that we can be very, like, carefree about the whole thing. You know, it's like we go and get some stars off camera. We die all the time because who cares? It's funny, you know, and stuff like that. So... Yeah. Now, as far as Gothic goes, uh, that series is going okay. Uh, wait, is the episode there yet? I don't think the episode's there yet. I think it's this week. Uh, I could be mistaken here, but I think this week we joined the Mercenaries. So that's that was pretty crazy. It actually surprised me completely. Uh, also... You know, there's a couple suggestions that everyone's been giving me, and it's been fantastic. You know, I just want to say again, thanks to everyone that's been checking out that series, and keep the comments coming, everybody, because all your tips and stuff have really been helpful for me in that game. You know, sometimes it takes me a little bit to get to them. Like, you know, sometimes it'll be like, I'll mention something in a video, and someone might think, 
hey, Dan, I just give you that tip in the last video, but you have to understand because I'm only one person and because I'm recording multiple series, I have to record like a couple in a row. You know, like right now I, I have to record like today I have to record a couple Majora's Mask to fill out the week and I may even go far enough to fill out next week as well just because everything's been so chaotic for me, you know? And it's the same with Gothic. I mean, right now I've only got one episode in stock. So that means that the next, the next episode of Gothic that I record is going to be fresh and new on Friday. Like that'll be recorded just this week. Now, as far as the Lego game goes, cause I'm, I'm crossing all the let's plays off the list. See, I'm trying to have a better format. I told you, and I figure I may as well talk about all of them. Uh, Johnny and me have started Johnny Captain Napkin, my brother, have started the Lego Batman 2 series. I think that started last week. Yeah. And we haven't recorded any since. Not yet, anyway. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the more difficult formats as far as a series goes for me. Because I kind of, like, we don't ever have a set out point for the videos it's kind of like i just have to find that out in editing it's like okay this video is 15 minutes long now if there's anything really cool at this point on i can make a cut and cut that into a whole episode and then the next one starts you know like kind of like ending it on a cliffhanger it's it's similar to the format that i used with the lego marvel games but uh one thing i wanted to point out is last week it was actually coming out wednesday and friday same time as gothic too but i think because gothic is a more popular series and majora's mask isn't i'm going to actually switch the lego batman series to tuesday and thursday to come out with majora's mask you know it's plus it kind of fits the format you know they're kiddier games right now one thing I want to mention here too. Oh, give me a second here. Oh, there we go. Morning congestion. It's always my first recording this thing. That's what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> now, Starbound. Here's, here's some things that I wanted to talk about officially. Starbound has actually finally announced. They haven't set a release date for it or anything like that. But the next update is confirmed to Character Wipe. So that means that we're going to start from scratch all over again. So that's why, uh, for anyone that's been watching that series may have noticed sometime last week, I actually changed all the episodes to say S1. So that is like season one. Because I figured, you know, this can be season one because we've lasted a long time. And then season two will start after the character wipe and after we start a new character. I may even make him not human. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but right now, as far as that series goes, I'm getting a lot of backed up footage for it. So you'll have to excuse if some of my commentary isn't exactly accurate to what people have suggested in comments and stuff like that. I'm trying my best, though, to step up that series, you know, and I want uh, pretty much the way I see it is I want to try and push the character as far as we can go. You know, hopefully be able to even maybe see the end game gear. Um, you know, before the character wipes, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, because I figure, too, if we end up seeing the endgame human gear, then by all means, I will swap to a new race, you know? Um, the other thing, too, is when season two starts, I'm going to have mods, because, you know, I, I want to keep it fresh and stuff, and with, if we are going to start over again, like right now, I have, like, the, there's, like, a Titan spaceship mod, uh, there's another one that, I may end up putting over top of it that is like custom spaceships only because it actually has like drop ships, which is epic as hell. Like straight up, if you haven't seen that, just do a quick search of the custom spaceships mod because it comes with drop ships and they're all tiered too. So it's like you start out with a really crappy small one and then a bigger one and bigger one and bigger one. And basically what it does is you're on a planet, you clear out a certain area put down an item it tells you are you sure you want to land this here confirm confirm and then when you do it just builds a drop ship right then and there so it's really cool for role playing aspect you know uh the other one that i'm going to be using is the creative mod which some people might consider cheating but as far as a series goes like it's like i personally don't have enough time like you may have noticed in the last like few episodes and stuff i may have suggested about like with building supplies and stuff like that and, you know, right now, the only building supply that I have is wood. 
and a lot of the other supplies are a lot harder to come by one, not to mention I don't have enough time to actually go and gather them 100%, you know, like I, I can't focus 100% of my attention onto that series. So I figure that the creative tool will be phenomenal for that, even if it's a little bit cheaty, not really though, because then I can give myself all the supplies that I need in order to actually build some cool structures with all you guys, you know? And one of the things that I actually thought of that would be kind of cool is maybe I'll make like a project build rather than just building one house, two house, three house, four house. I can actually have like, I mean, let me know, you know, but it's like, Maybe like I'll have like a city project or something with skyscrapers and stuff and it's like rather than trying to finish the building in one episode, it could be like, oh, okay, so today we're going to do one or two floors of a building depending on the time that we have, you know, like, and maybe try and make them themed like one of them is a little more modern, maybe make a hotel, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, I just figure that with the creative, it's really going to boost things up as far as the builds go. Now, the last thing I want to say is about the stream that I did last week. You know, you were all absolutely awesome. And I got to say that that turned out a lot better than I thought it would, especially for my first official stream. I did a test stream before, but it didn't really count because it was just testing settings and stuff. And yeah, you know, I actually watched through it again and I was surprised at how many crazy ass moments we ended up getting. So, you know, if if any of your new subscribers check it out, you know, the first my first official stream of Grand Theft Auto Online with a couple of my friends there and it just it, it was crazy. So, if you're wondering, yes, I'm going to be doing another stream probably around the same time, so that's going to be this Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And we're going to probably be doing more Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, Bandy has said that he's down for it. I'm not confirmed yet on Shay. You know, things have been a little rough with her in real life right now. So we'll see what's going on with that. But, you know, even if it's just me and Bandy, it's okay. Uh, we've actually compiled, like, we're actually getting, like, a list of things that we didn't do but wanted to in the last stream. As well as just... You know, letting our minds wander with some more creative projects and stuff. So I think I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, now, t the next topic is other related things other than Let's Plays and stuff like that. First and foremost, I just want to say that the song went up. Uh, the full on like now let me give a little bit of a history here so I ended up writing specifically a 25 second clip for my outros. It was only ever 25 seconds, but People since the beginning have been requesting it as a full song. Now, I, I don't know if people understood when I responded and said, all right, well, I have to write the whole thing, you know? it's That's all it is. It's just the 25-second clip, not to mention there was no other instrumentation, you know? Because I just wanted to make something really quick, catchy, cool, you know? I, I'm a keyboard player, so there was no other instruments really in there besides keyboards and strings and stuff like that because that's what I do. But, you know, then over the course of time, you know, uh, Johnny and me with our band here, The World, have actually been working on a Christmas EP. I, I say that kind of with wavy hands because it's like, it's not really Christmas anymore and who knows when it's actually going to get out. But we got like four songs or something that we've been writing, some new ones, you know, and we took the opportunity to write the rest of the outro song. So, you know, it's added verses, it's got drums, it's got guitars, it's got a whole bunch of new instruments and everything like that. It's, in, in my opinion, you know, I'm really happy with it. Our friend Bryce, who's appeared in a couple of our Monday multiplayer episodes like Mario Kart 007 and stuff like that, but it's like he, he he's a great friend of ours and we know him as a musician first. And he actually owns a studio back where we used to live in Winnipeg. So it's actually, you know, he, he did all the mixing for us and stuff. And yeah, you know, he did a fantastic job on the outro track, which has now since been called Epic U, right? I want to also mention, for those that do, may not have noticed, but can you, can you spot the uh, nod in the lyrics, you know? Because I, I made some of the lyrics nodding to actually... A couple of my series, you know, uh, my writing style is always like uh, I can never write anything unless I'm inspired, like straight up. That's why I I don't have that many songs because of that, you know. 
And so with that song, you know, it's like I was inspired by, you know, my fiance, and I was also inspired by just the whole, all of you guys, you know, and doing the Let's Plays and everything like that. Like, there's, there's, you guys are in the lyrics. Not your usernames per se, but just mentioning, like, it's like even the title Epic You is intended for, like, a kind of a pun, you know, because it's like, you guys are all epic, stay epic, right? And it's like, you know, stay as your epic self. Now, another thing I want to point out, too, that we just got recently is a domain name. So if you're ever, if, if, if ever you're like mentioning me to your friends and stuff like that, rather than trying to get people to spell out Antignorod, I mean, I know I've always had trouble with that. I know I chose like the weirdest username ever, but it's, fr it's from something. I'll eventually mention it sometime, but right now, you know, I kind of, I guess I kind of haven't really gotten to it. It's, it's from a indie RPG. So if nobody know, actually, you know what? I'll just say it here. It's from Jay's Journey. <laughs> so if anyone hasn't checked that out, that's it's an indie game that was actually made in RPG Maker, and in my opinion, is the best game in RPG Maker because he 100% used the palette within the game. He didn't use any external stuff, you know, besides like making maybe one soundtrack and a couple of voice clips. But otherwise, I, I think that it's the pinnacle of what you can make. In RPG Maker, at least in the old versions, you know, nowadays people have been making games in RPG Maker and putting them on the freaking 360 indie arcade, you know, and I mean, I, I used to screw with RPG Maker, you know, I made a lot of dinky little games and Johnny and me have actually been working on a Hear the World game for like ever and it was almost finished. But then we ended up going through it after we started doing the Let's Plays and censoring ourselves and Cause, cause, cause originally we wrote it and it's very, it's very offensive. So one day we have to actually go through the entire game all over again and take out all the swears and stuff and all the uh, horrible jokes, you know, but anyway, new domain name, scytheplays.com. So that just straight up links to my YouTube channel. So if any of you are ever suggesting me to your friends, in which case I just want to say thank you. But, it, you know, just say scytheplays.com because I think it's a lot easier. It's a lot more, you know, it's a, it looks a lot slicker to put on stuff, you know. So, yeah, that's awesome. Now, another thing is as far as real life stuff goes, I know that my series have kind of been up and down lately. It's, it's not that they've been bad or anything like that. No, they've been fantastic, right? <laughs> but But it's like... I've been very busy and I, I, I mention this almost all the time because it's always constant in my life is that I am very busy. You know, not to mention lately we've been playing shows with Hear the World again too. So I've been spending time practicing as well as going out and doing that and everything. And it's like, you know, we put just as much heart into our live like our band shows as well as we do in the let's play series so it takes like a day of preparation and stuff like that so i'm just saying again i've said this before i am trying to slow down the amount of series i know i don't have that much right now but still as far as multiple series goes i'm trying to slow them down as much as possible you know i think Whatever series ends up dying next, I'm probably going to leave dead without filling a new space in there, you know? Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention, too, is I mentioned this before, but I thought of a whole let's vote system where it would kind of be like a bunch of different videos that you would all be linked to based on what you click and based on how many views that video would have would be the next Let's Play series. So I think I am going to do that when I do get to a new Let's Play series. That said, that said, I have, and and I know why 2 Yarless is gonna love this, I have actually been very much considering lately doing Turok 2 again. You know, that was, that was pretty much my first official series. Far Cry 3 was actually my first series, but it it, it was different, you know, that was unlike anything I've ever done as a series. It was kind of like a montage of what I'd done during the day and stuff. Some of them are pretty good, but, you know, now compared to where I'm at now, it's like, you know, I was swearing a lot more and stuff like that. But 
you know, I, I think they had a lot of really good comedic timing, even if the video itself was very low quality and stuff like that. But anyway, you know, I'm still to this day getting traffic and getting subscribers specifically because I did Turok 2. So I think that maybe rather than doing a let's vote for the next series, I'm thinking I might end up doing Turok 2 as my next official series. So that could come out either after Lego Batman or Majora's Mask because I'm sure that Gothic 2 is going to last a very long time. I mean, we're not even in Chapter 2 yet. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do Turok 2, I think. You know, I, I want to be able to replay that game. Plus, I figure, you know, I can make a more modern one and, you know, I'll start trying to use all the gimmicks I did in the last time, you know, teleporting and memories and stuff like that, you know. Because I know I haven't been using those as much in my videos. And I, again, blame the fact that I'm so busy, you know, because uh, for those that don't know, um, I used to... Not used to, I still do it every now and then, but I used to very much like, it's like anytime I would refer something that was in another video in the series, I would actually go to a memory where it would go like black and white and my voice would be all reverby and stuff and it was a lot of fun and cool and yeah, it, it worked out. But I haven't been doing that as much lately because back then, I, w I only had like two different series running. I think the last time that I did it the most was when I had like uh, DMC Devil May Cry and Enclave running and that was it. There was there was nothing else other than maybe the Monday episodes, you know, and now it's like I'm running, you know, I, I, I'm running GTA 5, still got Wizards Keep. I think the last episode comes out tomorrow, by the way. Uh, multiplayer Monday, Majora's Mask, Lego, Ma Batman, Gothic 2, you know, and now even streaming and Starbound. So it's like, you know, I, I just don't have as much time as I would like to put the production into the videos. Now, we have gone on long enough. This is already like 22 minutes. That's, that's a very long scythe news. I know lots of people aren't going to be into that, so I'll try my best to get them a little bit more condensed, but I wanted to actually start mentioning like details about all the series rather than just a specific few. However, if there's something that's not actually worth mentioning, of course, I'll just leave it out, right? But last and not, but not least, I just want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers as well as all of you, my current subscribers. I know some of you have been here since the beginning, you know, Y2 Yarlith, Fallout King 2, although back then you had Oh man, I don't even remember your old username because of how long ago it's been. You know, uh, Resort OB has been commenting a lot. Escape Rune Player, I don't know if you're still around, dude, but he he's great. That that guy's got some incredibly funny videos, like straight up. I you know, I I really do dig it. It's a very dry sense of humor, but at least I think it's supposed to be a sense of humor. Like, I think it's jokes, right? But I, I really do dig it, you know? And then there's, uh, what is it, AdMod? I think that's how you say it. There's that kid that raps and stuff like that, you know? And it's just, yeah. The, you all have been here for a very long time. Sorry that I didn't catch any other shout outs, but really, I could just go on and on and on. You know, every time I get a new subscriber straight up, I'm looking at my phone, I see the username, and I say thank you to that person. You know, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bringing me up to almost, this week it's going to happen, 600 subscribers. And I'm going to keep doing this forever, you know. I, I love doing this, and until YouTube explodes and I have to move to another site, you know, I really do love this. I love what I'm doing. I hope you're all enjoying it. And, you know, I love the fan interaction. You know, you all are really awesome people, for one. I mean, I I barely get any negative feedback, which is a surprise for me because, I mean, I, you know, I grew up when the internet was first starting out. I know how brutal people can be. People still are on some of the forums and stuff like that, you know. But anyway, yeah. So, webcam. Hopefully, you know, let me know in the comments, was this better to have a webcam than it was to just have my still image picture? Or should I be like this? And then I'm talking over myself, but you can't see my lips, so it's like this. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this has gone on long enough. It's almost at 25 minutes. Thank you to each and every single one of you for all your subscribes, all your support, all your likes, because those help my videos to spread out there. And expect more Mario in the future. Expect GTA to last, like... 
that series is gonna last a long freaking time i'm telling you you know it's it's one hell of a project to be censoring the whole game but really that's you know that series is probably gonna last like a year gothic 2 may end up lasting a very long time as well so yeah expect lots of that anyway thank you all so much for watching sayonara and stay epic everybody